Assuming that you've already gathered your loan information and you have downloaded the spreadsheet here, we're going to jump right in. Um, we can enter our loan information. We'll start with a $200,000 balance for this mortgage. It's at 5% and this one is a 30-year loan. The start date um, is January 1st, 2011. And we can quickly look at the summary here. We've got uh, monthly payments of $1,073.64. Without additional payments, we would be making 360 payments, which would be the 30 years times 12 months. And the total interest would be 186,511. So if you look at the total amount you would be paying on this loan, you would take this 186,511 and add it to the 200,000. And of course, that's assuming that you keep the same loan for 30 years. Let's go down to our most recent activity. I've put in the monthly schedule so that we can take a look at that here. This person paid $100 in extra uh, principal payments for January through April 2017. So now that we've entered those in, it's time to compare the statement to the loan amortization schedule to make sure that we have entered everything correctly. So the first thing we want to do is look at the principal and interest payments due on this statement. So this monthly statement is dated April 2nd, so it would be right after the April 1st payment, with the payment uh, next being due on May 1st. If we add up the $329.93 and the $743.71, we would get this $1,073.64. So, so far everything matches. The next thing we need to do is to compare the current mortgage balance with the unpaid principal balance here on the statement. So that's the 178,491.51. If we look at the ending balance after the April 1st payment, we could see that that does match. 178,491.51. That's also the same as the beginning balance on the May 1st payment, which might be a little bit easier to think of if we're looking at the, the due date of May 1st. To see how this is being calculated, we can look at this first payment, um, which would be February 1st. Take the $200,000 beginning balance, and if we multiply that by the monthly interest rate, which would be the annual interest rate divided by 12, we get the $833 for interest. The principal payment is simply the scheduled payment minus the interest and then you would add extra payments too towards the principal if you have any of those. If we look real quick, we can scroll down through the years and see that the interest is going down each month and the amount that goes toward principal is going up each month. So we'll just scroll down through some of the years. You can see about halfway through the loan here, we're at about equal payments for principal and interest, and then as you go along, you're paying more and more toward principal and less in interest each month. 